Hello everybody, this is BKA Chief bringing you some more MVP Baseball 2005 action. Well, it's been a while, but I decided to get back into the swing of things, pun not intended, and check out and go back to my Funk Dynasty file. So, right now it's going to be the start of a four-game series against the Milwaukee Brewers in Milwaukee. We're heading to Miller Park. All right, let's take a look at our pitching matchup. For the Mets, it is going to be Jose Fernandez. Fernandez rated as one of the top 100 prospects. 5-0, 58 strikeouts in 44 innings. And the Brewers will counter with Dennis Stevens. Stevens 3-1, 23 in the third innings, 3.47 ERA, and just 15 strikeouts. Well, solid number five. No, nothing wrong against him. He's pretty good. So let's take a... So with that said, let's go take a look. We're going to take a look at the starting lineup in just a moment. And there is our starting lineup. Let's take a look. Starting with the Mets, we have Pat McInnes at second base leading off. We have first baseman Eric Moore following him. Batting third is center fielder Aaron Carpenter taking over for the injured Omar Sines. We have David Wright batting cleanup. He's playing third base. Catcher Travis Darno follows him. Batting sixth is the... Shortstop, Jose Reyes. Batting 7th, right fielder, Willie Hayes. Devin Williams has been moved over to left field. He'll still bat 8th. Batting ninth, of course, is the pitcher, Jose Fernandez. So now let's take a look at the Brewers lineup. We have Ricky Weeks leading things off. He'll play 2nd. Next is Jim Mulholland, left fielder. Batting 3rd is the red-hot Wayne Collier. He'll, he's playing 1st base. 404, 11 home runs, 34 runs batted in. He has really, really started strong. Here's Luis Perez, their cleanup hitter. He plays center field. Another strong hitter. Jared Guthrie is the shortstop. He bats fifth. Jimmy Blewin is the right fielder. He'll bat sixth. Batting seventh is the third baseman, Willie Trujillo. Batting eighth is the catcher, Benny Bearlocker. And, of course, batting ninth, rounding things out, is the pitcher, Dennis Stevens. So there's your starting lineups. There's your pitching matchups. Well... First pitch is just moments away. From the from the land of the Brewers, welcome to Milwaukee Park, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Here you see the starting lineup for the Mets. There you see, and there's Dennis Stevens getting things loose. Three and one, 3.47 ERA as mentioned. So there's a steer offensive alignment: Mulholland, Perez, Blue, and left to right. Trujillo, Collier. Weeks, Guthrie, and Trujillo, the infield. So here's Pat McKinnis stepping things in to lead things off. It looks like we're ready for baseball for Miller Park. Line to the left from McKinnis, and that is going to be down for a base hit. So first pitch swinging, and the Mets have a leadoff man on. So here's Moore. Moore, number two on the team in home runs with 22. Second, and he is going to find a gap right there. Perfect timing for the hit and run. It is going to lead to McInnes coming around to score and putting more on second with a double. So a good piece of hit and good timing, and the Mets have an early 1-0 lead. So here's Carpenter. Carpenter struggled, lost his spot in the lineup, and he's got himself a base hit. With more running, he will score, making it an early 2-0 lead. So Carpenter comes through with what he needs, puts a runner on first, and the second run is in. It's now 2 nothing. So three pitches in, and already Stevens is behind the eight ball. So here's David Wright. David Wright, triple crown, leads the triple crown. Flares one into right. That one is going to get down. Carpenter all racing all the way from first to score. And on that bloop shot, David Wright is on, on second with a double. Not a good piece of hit, hitting, but it's all about location, location, location. And there you see Carpenter charging in with the game's third run. So, and it looks like already Mike Walker is getting loose in the bullpen for Milwaukee. Well, here's Travis Darnell, the number five hitter. Darnell also catching. He also recently hit the 1,000 hit club for his career as they check over because the team's been very frisky. He's off again. 
and he snares it for the out, and it's an easy double play. So good wherewithal from Ricky Weeks. And just like that, it's two out and nobody on. So here's Reyes. Reyes, one of the top hitters and runners in scoring position, and he gets himself on with a base hit. Puts one through the hole in, ce in the center field. So the Mets get a two-out base runner. So now it's going to be up to Willie Hayes. Hayes knocking on the door of history, just 11 hits away from 3,000 career knocks. He's off, and there's hit number 2,990 right there. Base hit. Reyes stops at third. So the Mets have runners at the corners with two men away. That'll bring Devin Williams up. Williams brought up when Rob Roberts got himself hurt, broke his arm. He was off to a very strong start for his career. Flyers one into se into left, and eh, that will do it. So with all that, four straight hits to start, then a double play, two more hits, but a fly out puts an end to the inning. It's now three, so the Mets get three. Brewers coming to bat. There you see their starting lineup. There's Jose Fernandez, five starts, five wins. He has just been absolutely on fire for his rookie season. He'll face the... And so, here we go. Leading things off will be Ricky Weeks for the Brewers. 250, four homers, 10 RBIs. Batting from the right side of the plate. Here comes Fernandez's first pitch. First pitch swing and pops it up down the third base side, out in the field. And David Wright has the ca makes the catch. One out, one pitch, and one out. So here's Mulholland, 309, four homers, 14 runs batted in. Another right-handed batter. Here comes the first pitch, and it's a swing and a miss at that sinker. No balls and a strike. Here's the 0-1 offering from Fernandez. He flares this one into left. Easy play for Williams, and he's got it. Two men down. So here's Wayne Collier. Collier... Leading the Brewers in batting average, home runs, and RBIs. And it's not very hard to see why. This guy ha this guy is good as he swings and misses at the slurve. Nothing in one. The thing about this Mets team, they throw strikes, and they, do, and they are aggressive when it comes to pitching. And s Collier swings at the changeup. Nothing in two. Brewers, it's their offensive side of, that has definitely helped to propel them to the top spot in the NL Central as Collier goes down looking to end the inning. Fernandez throws six pitches. He gets one strikeout and no hits allowed. So we are heading to the second. Mets up 3 nothing. Jose Fernandez to lead things off. Fernandez actually one of those better hit again. This is the team that has one their starting pitching is actually very v capable of handling themselves at the plate. Speaking of which, that's hit to deep right center. Forget it. That is not coming back. A 412-foot shot. So that is that is home run and number five on the season. For Fernandez and it helps his own cause. It's now four to nothing. So here's McKinnis, one for one, single to left, came around to score. Grounded right back to the pitcher. And that's the first out. So here's more RBI double. Grounds one tour. Or it's first. And there he is out number two as Collier takes it to the bag himself. One first baseman grounds up to another. Two men away. So here's Carpenter. Flies one into left. Under it is Mulholland. And the side is retired. 
But the Mets on one big swing get a run, courtesy of their pitcher of all players. The Mets lead is now at four to nothing. Here's Luis Perez, 348, nine homers, 27 runs batted in. Here is the first pitch of the twelfth of the second. And that's chopped on the ground towards first. Right there is Moore. One away. There's Moore who just basically taps on the bag for the first out. So one out, nobody on. Here's Jared, here's Jared Guthrie. Guthrie coming into this game with a 309 average, six homers, 24 runs batted in. Here comes the first pitch from Fernandez. Swung on and missed on the off speed. And quickly getting a hit is Fernandez, 0-1. Here comes the 0-1 offering. Chopped on the ground towards first. Moore has it, calls off Fernandez, takes it to the bag himself, second out. So here's Bluen. Bluen, 3-14, five homers, 23 runs batted in. Another part of the strong offensive attack of the Milwaukee team. As he swings and misses, that's just his 10th pitch, all strikes. He pounds the zone. Sinker, and that's in for a called strike. And quickly he's ahead, 0-2. 0-2 oh, delivery. Flared in the air to left. Williams is going to make a charging in, and he makes the catch. And so that'll bring us to the third. David Wright, the batter. RBI double his last time up. First time of the play. Grounds one right to the third base. One third baseman grounds out to another, one down. So here's Darno, 0 for 1. Right to the third baseman, two up too quickly, set aside. Two out, nobody on for Jose Reyes. And this team seems to find, seems to be playing Adam Ball and finally puts one the center, base hit. So the Mets have a two-out base runner. There's Willie Hayes. He's one for one. Reyes off, and there's a base hit. Heading for third on the... As he was start... They started the runner. So he grounds one through the hole. Through that vacated hole. And the Mets have runners at the corner, so they have got something going here in the third, despite the two quick outs. So Devin Williams gets a shot at a redemption. Flied one left his first time up over one. Hayes takes his lead. He's off. The pitch is grounded and stopped by he blew stopped by Trujillo. And that will retire the side. So once again, Williams is denied a hit. The Mets fail to get one across here. We are through two and a half. It's four nothing Mets. Bottom of the order due up for Milwaukee here in the third inning. The last of the, here in the last of the third. And here's Willie Trujillo, 280, three homers, 16 runs driven in. Swing and a miss at the off speed from, from Fernandez. Nothing in one. The 0 1 pitch. Slurve swung on and missed. And now quickly Trujillo with an 0 2 hole. 0 2 delivery. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's his second strikeout so far. One down here in the third. So here's Benny Baylocker, the Brewers catcher. First pitch swing and chops one to third. David Wright has it. Quick throw to first. And he's retired two men away. So Dennis Stevens, off the, after the shaky thir first inning, giving up a homer in the second, settled in quite nicely. So we'll get an at-bat here as he swings and misses at the changeup. Nothing in one. The 0-1 offering. And it's a slurve. That's in for a called strike. 0-2 the count. Fernandez homered off of Stevens. Will Stevens try and answer in of his own? 0-2 delivery. Swing and a miss. So it's two. So there's his third strikeout, and that'll do it. We are through three innings here in Miller Park. The score is now 4-0 in favor of New York. 
So here's Fernandez. Got a pitch to hit. It was up in the zone, and he crushed it. That one through the hole on the right. That's a base hit. So here's McInnes, one for two. And they pick him off. So just like that, that base runner's erased. And McInnes, with one swing, replaces him. With a base hit of his own. That's his second hit. Mine's one straight up the middle. Low bridge is Stevens. That's the 11th hit allowed. It has only led to four runs so far. So one out base runner for Moore. One for two with an RBI double. The runner's off. Little flare in the, in the center. That is going to get down for a base hit. With McKinnis running, he'll make it to, thir to third base. So runners at the corners for for Aaron Carpenter. Carpenter RBI already one for two with an RBI single, scored a run. So that's 12 hits so far for New York, but it's only led to four runs. There are definitely threatened here. Lined up the middle. That's a base hit. That'll bring in McKinnis. More racing for third. He'll make it easily. They just keep the line of moving. They just love keeping that line of moving. So that's the second RBI, the second RBI for a Carpenter, and the Mets now lead it five nothing. And that is gonna be it for Stevens. They're gonna bring in Mike Walker. He'll take over the pitching. Let's take a look at it. Let's get a close look at his numbers as he comes into the game. There you see the manager making the sign. Yep. Yeah. This is his eighth appearance. He's 2-0 oh with a 5.68 ERA. He's pitched 25 and a third innings. Anyways, here's David Wright, one for two. Grounded to third and hit an RBI double. And that's hit in the air towards center, right center. That's deep. Back and it's gone! A three-run shot for David Wright. So that is home run number 26 on the year for, for the Mets' third baseman. Not one of the deepest shots he's hit, only 395 on the distance marker, but it was enough to get four run, to get three more runs across and make this an 8 nothing game. So a crooked number already for the Mets here. Here in the fourth, with still one out. Here's Darno, who has had rough luck, and his rough luck just got even worse. As that's popped up right on the infield. And Trujillo makes the grab, and he's 0 for 3 now. So from 0 for 3, we go for 2 for 2 with Jose Reyes. Pair of singles, but has yet to score, and that is shot towards the gap in left center. This should be extra bases. Off to se heading for second is Reyes as the throw comes in, and it's a one out double. That's a two-out double, actually. So that's a two-out double. And that is a line drive. That is a base hit. That's his third hit. That's going to bring it a run. He keeps finding that hole. So now it's a 9 nothing game as that's the fifth run scored this inning. That's how the Mets beat you. They really drive up some runs. They really drive. Devin Williams 0 for 2. Fly to left. Grounded to third. And that's going to draw the attention. And ooh -ho, Look out. That almost got away from Collier. Lined up the middle. Avoids hitting Hayes, but it's a base hit. And so the throw goes to home. It's Hayes at third. and So let's take a look at the box score and see what they call it. They're going to call it a double. 
rather, I'd say that's a bit of a charitable call there, but eh, score says it's a double. So it'll be second and third, two out, four for Jose Fernandez, who is two for two, who came up earlier this inning, singled, but was picked off. Swing and a miss at the changeup, 0-1. He already homered off of Stevens, and he lines one up the middle. That's a base hit. That's going to bring in a pair. That's going to go all the way to the fence. Up with it is Perez, but it will not stop. Stop him from getting a double. So good piece of hitting, and now runner another runner's in scoring position, and Mike Walker is still is getting clobbered. Seven pitches, but he's given up five hits and four runs. Here's McKinnis, two for three, a pair, a pair of singles and a pair of runs scored. It's 11-0 right now. And that's lined up the middle. That is a base hit going into center. Coming home. The throw to the plate, not in time. And they're going to get at him with a double. So that is going to be an RBI, and that is going to bring a visit to the mound. And Walker's not too happy about it. So here's more. Doubled, singled, grounded to first. Two for three. Flared one into left center. That's going to get down for a base hit. McKinnis stopping at third, but he will charge home and score. It's an RBI single for... So that is going to end. Well, Walker was just plain ineffective. So that's going to bring in Sterling Johnson. From the bullpen, he is going to pick. So a 13, so 13 nothing, and a nine run fourth inning. So let's take a look at Sterling Johnson's numbers as he comes up. Here's his 18th appearance. He's 1 0 with a 7.25 ERA. Definitely not the best night for Walker. He's already given up six, six runs, and he's responsible for. For more at first. Swing and a miss the throw. Not in time. So after getting a pick off. So after getting picked off and lined up. Doubled off. They get a stolen base. Swing and a miss of the curveball. And he steals again. So two steals puts him at third base. But the Mets are one strike away from it. The Brewers are one strike away, potentially, from ending this nightmare of an inning. A little flare into right center. And that gets down. So this inning will continue as Moore comes in to score with the 10th run of the inning. It's now 14 to nothing. So that's going to close the book on Mike Walker. One inning pitched, seven hits, seven runs all earned, just nine pitches thrown. Doesn't matter what you throw, they're going to hit it. So here's right, two for three, a double, a homer. That pitches to inside, the throw, not in time. So that's the third steal of this inning so far for the Mets. Off the... Down the line, will it stay fair? No. Oof, he found the home for it. But, fouled off again. So it's a 1-2 count now to David Wright. The slow pitches is really starting to get to David right now. Carpenter and Wright reliance one. That's a base hit. Carpenter coming in, he'll score. So a line draw single brings in another run, and Sterling Johnson now it's touched up. So here's Darno looking for some level of redemption. He's 0 for 2. He's 0 for 3. Writes off, and that's through for a base hit, just beyond the reach of Weeks. Stopping at third is right, and on the throw to home, Darno will take second. They're going to show an image of... 
So they're no, not going to call this one an error. And they're going to give Darno a double. They're going to give Darno a double on that one. Hmm. That's hard to believe. Believe it, but Darno gets a double. Well, don't think he'll complain. He finally is on the board. He's on the board with a base hit. So here's Reyes, three for three, two singles and a double. He's got two on and two out. Oof, out in front on the fastball, nothing in one. So this team is anxious. You would think. And that's grounded foul down the first base line, and Reyes quickly in the hole, 0-2. 0-2 oh, pitch, swing and a miss, he struck out. So that will end it. Finally, we're through three and a half. It's now 15 nothing in favor of the Mets. So that's going to bring up Ricky Weeks. Popped one to the sec to the third baseman, 0 for 1. First pitch is swung on and missed on the off speed. Nothing in one. 15 runs, 23 hits so far for New York. Brewers still looking to get something go going as they take a pit as he takes a pitch and it's in for a called strike. The sinker, nothing in two. Here comes Fernandez set. Here comes the 0-2. Popped him up. Made a mistake there, but he couldn't pay. Make him pay as Reyes makes the grab. One out. So here's Mulholland. Fly to left. Fly to left his first time up. 0 for 1. First pitch swing and he fouls it back. The slur breaking ball. Nothing in one. Here comes the one. Sets up. Here's the one strike pitch. Change ups in. Change ups in for a called strike. Nothing in two. Just three strikeouts so far. Popped him up in foul ground. Moore has a beat on it and he makes the grab. Two away. Here's Collier, the lone strikeout victim of the first inning. Oh, first pitch, swung on and missed. It was smoked by the sinker. 0-1, change up, he takes it, and it's in for a called strike. 0-2 the count. Just about to throw his 28th pitch of the game. And he swings and misses, and he's down on strikes again. This time swinging. So here's Hayes, three for three. Now he's just eight hits away from 3,000. Lined, but foul. 0-1. Oh, so Sterling Johnson, so far, is the only one to strike a oh, batter. Lined, and it's caught. So he lines out to the pitcher, one out to start. So here's Williams, one for two, one for three with a double. Grounds one to second. And just like that, two up, two down. So we've got a pitcher that's looking for the cycle already. And that is ground second, and that will do it. So one, two, three, go the Mets. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Still 15 nothing. There's Luis Perez. Perez grounded to the first baseman 0 for 1. The only one off the first pitch. Another grounder to first. One pitch. One out. So here comes Guthrie. Guthrie, well, followed suit with the same kind of play. Grounder to first. Slurf swung on and missed. And it's 0 and 1. That was number th pitch number 30 of the game for Fernandez. There's the... That's concern. Strike with the sinker, and quickly, he's ahead 0-2. Fernandez comes, sets the 0-2. In there! Strike three called! Fastball could not see it. One, and that's the second out. Five strikeouts now for Fernandez. Slurve, that's it. For a called strike. Blue and fly to left, 0 for 1. 
That was back in the second inning. High chop. Will there be a play? David Wright sets. And he it's not in time. So that's the first hit for Milwaukee so far. That'll bring up Trujillo. Trujillo struck out swinging back in the third. Grounded towards second. McKinnis has it. Side retired. So after that Baltimore chop hit, we go to the sixth. And son of... oh, they're going to make a defensive change. It is going to be Joey Rodriguez taking over at center for Milwaukee. I really wish they wouldn't do that. So here we go. Pat McKinnis will face Sterling Johnson after getting touched. Get a shut down. One, two, three. And that's a chopper through the hole. That's a base hit. That's four hits. For New York. That's four hits for, for New York's second baseman. Here's ba Eric Moore. Two for three. He takes the pitch inside. And a stolen base for McKinnis. With a slow pitcher like this, you ha. With a fast runner, slow pitcher, you're going to give up a lot of stolen bases. And there's a pickoff throw. That's grounded toward. It's the hole in the left. That's a base hit. And easy, and that's a easy run for because McKinnis was off and running. So there's a no, so there's the third RBI of the night for Moore, and the Mets are back on the board. It's 16 nothing. So Johnson, that's his fifth hit allowed, his second run allowed. So here's Carpenter with a runner on. And nobody out. And, of course, the ball is loose, but no advance by Moore. Burr curveball bends inside, and Moore steals it again. Ball one. So more base running havoc. And that is line to the right. That's down for a base hit, and that will easily score more. So another good piece of hitting for the Mets. Throws over. A little more controlled by Collier. That is fouled. Where was that? And it looks like Tyler Finley's getting loose in the bullpen. Right hand, right hander for Milwaukee. Ooh, he would love to have that back. That was a high pitch. That's inside ball one, and yet another stolen base. So they're doing it with the stolen base right now, and it's working. So one ball, one strike count. Off again, and it's lined to the center. That's a base hit. <laughs> Carpenter will easily score. So that is the third run of the inning. And so this Mets team just loves the hit and run, and it has worked like a charm. However, there is one instance where it kind of blew up in their face, and Darno knows all about it that was back in the first inning. Finally erased the Ofer on the night, so he's one for four. He doubled but was stranded. Writes off. That shot towards the gap. That is going to get down. Easy extra bases. Right turns third as the throw comes in. He will score. It's an RBI double. To right center for, for Travis Darno. That's the fourth run, and it's 19 to nothing. So not much of a base stealing threat here, but Jose Reyes, three for four. Had a rough out. Struck out. And swung on and missed at a high fastball. Nothing in one. So nobody out. Runner at second. 
Sits on it. It's a base hit. Darno racing for third. He's going to make the turn. He's going to come home. And he will score as the throw comes into second. So it's the fifth run. Fifth run of the game. Fifth run of the inning for New York. That's 20 on the night. And that is going to be the hook for Sterling Johnson. Tyler Finley comes in to take over. That's the fourth Milwaukee pitcher. Now, actually, there's going to be a double. Well, my apologies. There's going to be a bit of a double switch. It's like Kyle Weather is going to come in and substitute for Willie Trujillo at third base. He'll take over in the nine hole. And taking over in the seven hole will be Tyler Finley, the pitcher. So now we, so now our roster, so now our rosters are accurate. And then we're going to take a close look at Tyler Finley's numbers. Three and one with a 7.29 ERA. He's got one save. This is his 17th appearance of the season. So Sterling Johnson's gave up nine hits, struck out a batter. And he's picked off on an, another pick off. So that is going to make a one. Now nobody on base. Flares one into left, right center. That's going to get down for an extra base hit. Up with it is the right field. The other blue in, and that is going to be a triple. A stand-up triple for for Willie Hayes. Hayes, Hayes was the go-to guy for three baggers last season for New York. And so he gets another one here. That's the 30th hit of the game for New York. Here's Devin Williams, one for four with a double. And that is shot in the air to center field. That ball is gone. 414 on the day, a two-run shot. That's number seven for Williams. So he turned that one for a two-run home run. Now here's Jose Fernandez. It's a 22. Swung on and missed on the pitch that was well out of the strike zone. Nothing and one to the Mets pitcher. A one offering is lined in a right. That's a base hit. So he is. So he has been playing really the left, the right side of the field today. So here's four. For, here's McInnes, four for five. Lines one up the middle. That is a base hit. Picking it up is Pear. Picking up is Rodriguez. Holding. So five hits in the net. So Finley has been. Grounded towards first. Second. This might be two. And it gets away. gets away and the bases will be loaded <laughs> oh, it does cramp against Eric Moore and rightfully so fly ball into center field this is deep back it is gone a grand slam third grand slam of the season for Aaron Carpenter that's seven home runs on the year That is go. Ooh, Finley has just been getting rocked. That's an another 11-run inning. Fly ball in the center. 
That is going to get just beyond the reach of Rodriguez for extra bases. Digging for third. Could he get the cycle here? He does. He stops at third with a triple. And we have ourselves a cycle. For We've got a cycle. And so here's Darno. First three bats. Well, Darno coming up. First three at bats. Ground ball, pop up, line out. And it looks like that's going to be it for Finley. To say he was as ineffective would be a very, very mild understatement. So that makes five pitchers used so far from for Milwaukee. There's number 17, one and two with a 5.40 ERA. So here's Darno, two for five. Runner at runner on third, one out. He sits on the curveball. It's in for a called strike. Nothing and one to the Mets catcher. Jumps on one, but pulls it foul. And so quickly he's behind. F oh and two. Well, that'll get a run in. So that's no. so that's a sacrifice fly to right. That'll be a tw and that makes it a 12 run inning with two away. Reyes got picked off earlier this inning. He's four for five, struck him three singles and a double. Late on that fastball. Nothing in one. 27 to nothing. So far the score. Loft to left. That's going to hook foul. No play. Fly ball in the left field. It's playable for Mulholland. And that will finally retire the side. But not before 12 men score in this inning. And make it a 27-run ball game. So we're going to the bot. Last of the sixth, eight, nine, and one do up. It's going to be Bear Locker, Weathers, and Weeks. Bear Locker coming up. Grounded to third. To third is first time up. Over one. Jane chips in for a strike. Nothing in one. The 0-1 offering. Sinker fouled. Actually, that yeah, that was his lure. My apologies. Anyway, it is 0-2 now to the Brewers catcher. 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. That is six strikeouts for Jose Fernandez. Well, they have to make a decision. Are they going to let him go seven, or are they going to make him go the distance, as that's in for a called strike? 0-1 the count. 0-2. Pitch. That's called strike two. Sinker in the changeup, so now he's set up. I'm gonna be looking fastball here if you and that swung on and missed. Can't touch it. Strike three. That is number seven through five and two thirds. For Jose Fernandez. Back to the top of the order is Ricky Weeks. Weeks. Pop to Weeks at a pair of pop-ups to the right, to the left side. One to the third baseman, one to the shortstop. Flyers one in the left, but Williams has a beat on it, and that is out number three. We're through three with 27. The Mets have 27 runs in there. Yeah. So here's Hayes, four for five with a triple, and that is a line drive and a right. That's a base hit. So now it's looking a lot e more likely he's going to make. Flares one the other way to left. That's going to get down foul. So it's 0-1. Last time up he hit, hit a shot. Hit a two-run shot about four. Flared. Shallow left. That's down for a base hit. 
Stopping at third will be Hayes. So it's runners at the corners, nobody out for Jose Fernandez, who's looking for that elusive triple. Swing and a miss. The throw is not in time. And the Mets are now running wild. They got picked off twice. And I get their, their base runners are a little annoyed. Line that to fir first, and it's snared by Collier. So here's McInnes with one away. Two st attacks the first pitch and sends this one foul. Late on the fastball. Grounded up the middle. Does he have a pl But Weeks makes the st stop, but a run will score. It's now 28 to nothing on the RBI ground out. So here's more, four for six, but five runs scored. They throw over to second. And, and Willie. Swing and a miss. Throw. He is out. He is out, and the inning is over. So Claudio Barajas did get touched up for a run, but it wasn't exactly... It's time to stretch now. 28 to nothing, the score. So Fernandez, one hit, six innings, seven strikeouts, just 42 pitches. Well, it's not a question of whether or not he's got enough. The tank. Slurve in for a called strike. Here's the 0-1 offering. Change up, swung on and missed. And quickly ahead it is Fernandez 0-2 on the Milwaukee left fielder. Here comes the pitch, the 0-2. Popped him up in foul ground. But Moore has it in foul ground for the first out. Wayne Collier 0 for 2. Pair of strikeouts. Change up, swung on and missed. Pair of strikeouts, one looking, one swinging. Grounded tour, short. Reyes boots it and has no play. So Reyes is charged with an error, and the inning continued. And the Milwaukee Brewers have their second base runner. So here's Joey Rodriguez, 4 for 12 so far this season. And he pulls that one, sends that one the other way, foul. 0-1. Slurve, that's in for a called strike. Well, now, what do you do? 0-2 delivery, swing and a miss. That's eight strikeouts and 50 pitches. He got it. So here's Jared Guthrie. Guthrie 0 for, 0 for 2. Grounded a first and struck out. Looking. Over. Chopped on the ground. Eric Moore, he'll flip it to the, to the pitcher. Side retired. Moore will get a second crack at it. As Williams got thrown out trying to steal. So he's doubled, he's tripled. He's double. He's doubled, he's got Perry singles. Late on the fastball, 0 and 1. Very rare. And he crushes this one to center. Forget it. 410. A solo jack. Dead central. Number 
number 23 for Moore. And just like that, it's 29 to nothing. That left in a heartbeat. So here's Aaron Carpenter. Last time up, he hit a grand slam. As he swings and misses the low curve, nothing and one. Swing and a miss, 0 and 2. Well, the Mets are going to get somebody up in the bullpen. Jung Hoon Choi getting loose in the bullpen for the Mets. As Collier snares the liner for, for the first out. David Wright, five for six. Blair's one in a center. With a beat in his Rodriguez. Two men away. So here's Darno, two for five. Pair of doubles. And he crushes this one to right. It's Apo Taco time. 396. It's his 13th home run. So he really got a hold of this one. It got out of here in a heartbeat to the second deck. So two tater. Two bombs off the back. As Barajas gets bar barraged, gets ambushed. So here's Reyes, four for six. Line drive, and there's a base hit up the middle. There's hit number five for. And that is going to be it for Barajas. And Richard Samuels is going to take over the pitching for the. Going to come in to pitch the eighth. Well, that makes Sterney. That makes pitcher number six on the game for the Brewers. Richard Samuels, the regular closer. Maybe he'll be asked to get the last four outs. They threw over, and Reyes gets back safely. They're over again, Reyes still gets back. It's five or six, but he's got only one RBI. Swing and a miss at the changeup. And there's another steal. So he was a pretty miffed after getting picked off. Now he got a little measure of payback. Different pitcher, but still he gets the stolen base. That's line that's fouled back right off the catcher. Fouled again. So he's making him work. Runners off again, and this one's lined in the center. That's a base hit. Reyes will score easily. So it's now a 31 to nothing lead. Uh, this, this offense still is going. It's 41 hits so far. Last season, the Mets got seven such games with 50 or more hits. So here's Williams, three for six. A real to second, oh, running to his second, and that is down the line. That is going to get down in fair territory. Off to he's heading for home, and he will score on that fly ball double down the line. So, so here's Jose Fernandez. They're going to give him one last chance to get that elusive. Cycle. He gets the cycle. He gets to stay. Flares one into right. It's down. He'll get the... Uh, here's Pat McKinnis, and it looks like we're going to have ourselves a pinch run.
Mikado will get a chance to pinch run. Will officially be it. So that's going to officially be it for Jose Fernandez. He's pitched seven innings, allowed one hit, struck out eight. Choi will get the eighth inning. Swing and a miss. The throw, not in time. So there's his first career. So there's Mikado's first major league stolen base. Swing and a miss. Throw. So he's got his first two. So top of the eighth. So two outs here in the eighth. A little weak little jack towards second. And that will do it. So with that, they're going to bring in the left-hander Young Hoon Choi, making his second only his second appearance. So it's going to be blue and pitcher spot and Burlocker and Bearlocker. Choi unleashes a curveball for his first pitch. There's a strike. Nothing in one. Knuckleball. He looks at it for a call of second strike. Here's the 0-2. Fastball at 101, and he doesn't even blink. Strike three. So it looks like. Looks like we're going to have our cell pinch hitter of Federico Garcia. Garcia's numbers. He's one for four. Let's take a look at the bull. Let's give a look at their bullpen. Tim Petrick and Santos Moon getting loose. Anybody's guess who comes in? Swinging a miss. Swing and a miss, and Garcia looked absolutely foolish on that pitch. Grounded towards third. David Wright has it. More, picks it out of the air for the second out. So here's Bearlocker. It's 0 for 2. Grounded to third and struck out swinging. That's nine strike. Mets so far have struck out nine batters. Sliders in for a called strike. Nothing in one. So Jose Fernandez went the first seven, struck out eight. Curveball swung on and missed. And Choi ahead, 0 2. Just seven pitch. The 0 2 pitch. Flares one into right. Playable for Hayes. Side retired. So it's going to be Tim Petrick who will take over the pitching. That makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pitchers so far for Milwaukee. There's Eric Moore, five for seven. Lined and snared. By the second base, in weeks, one out. So here's Carpenter. Here's David Wright. David Wright grounds one up the middle. That's a base hit. So that's hitting. That's hit number six for him. So a one out base runner for New York. Sits on it and it's lined up the middle. That's a base hit. That's going to go all the way to the fence. Easy run. 
The Mets will pick up an easy run. And so that'll be a double. Run scores. It's now 34 to nothing. That's 45 hits so far for New York. So Tim Petrick already has been touched up. There's Darno, three for six on his own right. Right's off. Lines one in the left center. That's down for a base hit. And Darno has himself an Arbia. And that is one way you do it. And there's another hit. Me just a tad. Just a minute. I think. Swing and a miss. So Reyes, uh, Reyes has got the only strike, offensive strikeout for the Mets. Line foul. Well, well, let's get. Mets closer Freddy Chavez is getting loose, ready for his appearance. You know, two pitches lined up the middle. That's a base hit. So, Darno at third, Reyes at first, runners at the corners. Here's Hayes now standing at five, just a measly five hits away. Two thousand nine hundred ninety-five hits. He's got five singles and a triple. Two runs driven in. Shot that one of the left field. That ball is gone. Three ninety one on the dish. Track that one three hundred ninety four one three hundred ninety one feet. That's a three run shot. Make this one a 38-run game for New York. And Santos Moon and Willie Walshaw now is joined in the bullpen. And that's going to be another pitching change. And it's going to be Santos Moon taking over the pitching. That is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 pitchers that the Brewers have used so far in this game. Williams, a triple away from the cycle. To left field. And it's caught by Mulholland, one, two away. Julio Fuentes as a pinch hitter. So two hits away with one out left. 38 to nothing. Swung at the high str high fastball, nothing and one. Fuentes lines one up the middle, that's a base hit. That's 49 hits. Can McInnes get the hit number 50? Can get hit number 50 in the game. The runner's off, and there it is, number 50 for the game. Oh, great. And well, it skips one through, and that is going to do be it.
That's down. He's going to try for the plate, and he's going to make it. So it's two out and a runner at first. And they're going to throw over to first check on Moore. He gets back safely. Swing and a miss. The throw. Not in time. Another stolen base. That's number four in the game for Eric. Lined and that's going to get down for a base hit. Here's David Wright, six for eight. He's already got a cycle. Lined one in a se the left center. That's going to be down for a base hit. Stopping at third is going to be Kerr. So that's seven hits for Wright. Ben Sheets now joins Willie Walshaw. And that's going to be another pitching change. So Petrick could not get an out. It was just like Finley, just could not get an out. Oh, that's going to take a look at Willie Walshaw's numbers. So that makes nine pitchers used. 41 hit, runs 53 hits, and they're still not done. Darn. Pulls that one foul. We really jumped on that one, 0-1. Oh and that's hit in the air towards right center. That is deep. It is gone. The second home run. So it's an 11-run ninth inning. So they had 11-run fourth, a 12-run sixth, and now an 11-run ninth, and it's still not over. Willie Walshaw just got... So Reyes now has pa gone to his power side, and he just clobbered one. Deep center field, it is gone. So Reyes number eight on the season... So two from Darno, one from Wright, one from Moore, and one from Carpenter. And now one from Reyes. So that's nine home runs. Williams, Hayes, Fern. So speaking of Hayes, here he is as he takes that one up high ball one. Hayes hits this one in the air to deep right, but playable at the warning track. And that will finally put this inning to bed. But the Mets put a doozy across it's the plate. So Freddy Chavez will be asked to shut this offense down. The weak weathers, weak Mulholland, do up. That's his seventh appearance. He's got seven strikeouts. Over one, he struck out swinging back in the sixth when he came in. Knuckle curve, swung and missed. And it's 0 1 from the Mets' new clo for the Mets' closer. Breaks his bat, grounded to. 
Four three put out, one away to start the ninth, the bottom of the ninth. Well, if you're looking at the line score, oh boy, this one was all man. So here's Ricky Weeks, 0 for 3. He managed three fly balls to the right, to the left side. One to the first base, one to the third baseman, one to the shortstop, and one to the left fielder. Grounds one foul. And Freddy Chavez ahead, 0 and 1. With the slider. Grounded towards third, for third. And quickly, now the... Mercifully, you might say, they're down to their last out. So here's Mulholland. Three fly balls, two pop-ups that stayed foul. One went to the left fielder. Grounded towards third. This should do it. And the, in and the ball game is mercifully over. So that will bring. So the Mets pick up a win here decisively. And 96 total bases as a team, 55 hits for 79 at bats. For 79 plate appearances. So there we see the final score. So for this game, the Mets 45 runs on 55 hits, one error. The Brewers, no runs, one hit, one error. The winning pitcher of the game was Jose Fernandez. Losing pitcher was Dennis Stevens. He actually won the longest of all the pitchers. Everybody. Dennis Stevens, three and a third. Mike Walker, a third of an inning. Sterling Johnson, one th one and two thirds. But the Mets really got it. They're running on the base paths as Eric Moore has now taken the team lead in stolen bases. So Ricky Weeks makes his first error of the season. So there you see the, the lines for all nine pitchers. And it's not particularly pretty, folks. 13 hits allowed. Allowed for Stevens. Walker gave up seven. Johnson, nine. Finley, six. Barajas, five. Samuels, three. Petrick, five. Santos Moon, five. And Willie Walshaw, two. So yeah, you've seen the ERAs balloon, absolutely balloon. Team Patrick really got, went up to 12. So that's going to be wrapping thing. That's going to wrap things up from around here in Miller Park. We thank I thank you for joining. I thank you for your cooperate for your time, and like, comment, share, share, and subscribe. And I will catch you next time. Signing out.